Next up, we are firing up the old school ab wheel. This is one of my favorite exercises across the board. When you're doing an ab wheel, it's also gonna build incredible strength all the way through your lats, shoulders, and build incredible, incredible core strength. As you're gonna see here, we're gonna hit lower reps. So six to 10 reps, that's gonna be the rep range that we're focusing on directly. The beautiful thing about training your abs, you don't just have to use high reps. When you use exercises like an ab wheel that are a little bit more advanced, well, guess what? You can begin to gradually make these even more advanced by using things such as a weighted vest, or even progressing towards a standing ab wheel rollout. If the regular ab wheel is too advanced for you, that's okay. There are a lot of other variations like a TRX fallout or a stability ball rollout to build your strength. Before you go any further, it's 100% crucial that you watch the rest of this video and hit subscribe now. Hey, so true story here. This ab wheel was my mom's ab wheel in college. I think my mom was in college back to like 1982 to like 1986. So this thing is older than I am. Mom, shout out, thank you for the abs. Anyway, so when we are doing an ab wheel rollout, here's what we need to understand. We don't wanna shift our weight back where our butt goes towards our heels because that's actually gonna take tension directly off of your abdominals. So the way that I like to do this is I'll start my hands directly underneath my shoulders in that joint stack position. And as you can see, my abs are already braced. I'm not flexed back, I'm not arched forward. Neither one of those is ideal. We wanna keep constant tension in the abs. If you want to lose fat and build muscle, the number one thing you need to do, join our Look Great Naked protocol. Head to the link below, book your transformation call, and hit subscribe. Now, as I'm going to go, you're just going to see me roll out. It's going to be creating more tension. Under control. And right back up. And notice when I'm coming up here, I'm not shifting my weight back. We want to keep your hands directly underneath your shoulders in that joint stack position. This actually keeps tension on your abs all the way through. So I'm gonna go out under control. Past a certain point, I don't need to kiss the ground. This can actually lead to a lot of dysfunction and frankly pain for a lot of people and losing spinal position. So if you're a couple inches above, that's completely fine. And so I like to go three to six, or three sets of six to 10 reps on the ab wheel rollout. You can slow down the tempo if that's too easy. Or even work your way up to a standing ab wheel position. Did you find this helpful? If so, pound that like button and hit subscribe. Now, if you want a free copy of our chiseled muscle cheat sheet, the no BS way to help you lose body fat and build lean muscle in 90 days, make sure that you go to the description below and download your free copy. Any questions, drop them in the comments and can't wait to see you with the next video.